Say yes to new beginnings. Yes. Say yes to new standards of excellence. Yes. Say yes to engage in reportage with a difference. Yes. Introducing Yes International Magazine. Said most times. Yeah. You describe yourself as a prodigal son. Yeah. What exactly did he do to your father that made him uh, ostracize you? To ostracize you? Uh, what no, thing uh, did you as I said, I, I, wrecked, I wrecked the man. I, as you, know, you want us to go, you want us to go uh, back and forth. I mean, ah, I did a whole lot. I did a, it will take us a whole day to talk about what I did. Uh, as you know, it will take us a whole day. A whole, a whole day. Okay, just summarize it. Summarize some of the things that you did back then. Okay, I said I did. Uh, I did wreck the man. I wrecked him. I wrecked him. <laughs> I mean, it's not something uh, we we'll discuss in two minutes. No, 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 no. Do you know what it means to leave the house for years? Okay, when you left the house for years, where were you staying? You were living on the streets, or you moved in? I was living in hotels. I was. I was living in hotels. I said I'm that prodigal son you read in the Bible. Okay, so how were you funding your life in the? Okay, I had paying? money. Yeah, I sold okay. properties. I had money. As I had millions, I had money. <laughs> I had money. You, you sold. You sold your. You, you sold your father's property. Okay. I had money. I had money. We were talking. I was just 18, 18, 19. I had money. So, what would be your advice, to people who are in a similar situation? What would you advise them? Man, such a mm -hmm. what do I tell them? I wouldn't want them to pass through what I passed through. I mean, I started squatting at Abattoir, where they kill goods and all that, where they slaughter goods. As though I am that prodigal son in the Bible. There is nothing like prodigal son. This is the prodigal son. There is no, uh, it's, that's, that's, uh, that's a fiction. Uh, I, I still say, it. this is me. This is the prodigal son. Unless they are talking about me. I, I, wasn't, I wasn't living with pigs. But I live in an, in an abattoir. I mean, in far away Medjugorje, where I had nobody. I knew nobody. I stayed there for six months. Six months. I was up six months. Do you know what that means? A man that was once staying in a, in a five-star hotel. Now, sharing, now sharing a bed with a goat. So how, uh, how did you now have your turnaround? How, tell us about your turnaround experience. You know, how yeah, did you come to the realization yeah, of yeah, how yeah. you to your steps? Life became unbearable. Life became unbearable. So uh, there was nobody to run to, and I and I was having uh, you know difficulties uh, with the language. I wasn't speaking out, uh, you know. I don't know how to speak as even up to now. So I was having difficulties with the people there. They don't speak English, and I don't speak out. So love without language. So it got to a point I had uh, no option than to, to return home. When I returned home, I mean, uh, as well as well as the your guess is as good as mine. Now, when you eventually returned home. After all the wilderness experience, so to speak, how did your parents or your father? I, I, I had already lost my mother. My mother died in 1990, uh, 1995. So I came back that December. So it was just my father. My father, it was just me, me and my kinsmen. Is Ochendo married? Because at some point, there was a day you were writing about one Jenny Max Smith, uh, Ochendo. See your wife? Are you married or you're still single? Jenny. Uh, it didn't work out. Um, Jenny, uh, you know, I'm, a, I'm not an advocate of divorce, but uh, when it's not working out, I advise the couple to mm, man, take a walk. So it didn't work out for now. Ochendo is single and seriously searching, not single and searching. So say single. So what, say what, single. Well, what happened? What happened? Why, why didn't it work out? Was it your fault or her fault or a, com a combination of? Well, if I say if I say it's my fault, it's, it's our fault. People will say ah because uh, you will like uh, no. so it didn't work out. It didn't work out. One, I cannot keep up with a nagging woman. Mm -mm. I no get body for that. I no get body. I feel die before my time. No, no, no. That's why I'm still uh, yet. Uh, so when when is the change you looking at uh, finding another woman? Me, me, azu, azu, azu. I need I need it like yesterday. I need it like yesterday. Every single every single man is irresponsible. Every single man is irresponsible. Show me an irresponsible man, I will show you that a man that has no wife. So I need it like yesterday. But I need a woman that can tolerate me. I mean, 
I'm not saying that I'm intolerable. I'm not saying that. As a, but uh, there are things I don't. There are things I don't like. I'm not even, you know. But so the journey is not. The journey is no longer married. So if it's my if it's my fault, she should have been with her with her husband. So what exactly does Ochenbo want in a woman? What are those qualities that once you find them in a woman? I don't want a woman. I don't want. Me, I don't want a woman that will love me. I will love you. Don't love me. Let me go love you. Happen. Don't say I am. I love you. Don't love me. Just be submissive to me. And I won't. I'm not. I'm not that kind of man that says a woman will should not go to a party. A woman should not uh, go and see her parents. Mag again or sleep. No. I will give you wings to fly. Respect me. Be submissive. I'm an African man. Do you understand me? So I'm not saying that oh my, uh, my my wife should be uh, 100 percent. Uh, if I tell her to sit down here, no. Uh, okay. if, uh, even if she's asleep, no. But the basic things: be submissive. Oh, uh, no, not be when I go talk go and I talk to 500. Uh, no. So I think that's uh, basically what I need in the woman. Oh, 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 all right. Oh, 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 o